I just don't even know how to talk about it. Hi guys, how are y'all doing? I'm gonna bring you a little closer. <laughs> I hope y'all are doing good. I decided to make this video because I just, I don't know, I felt like I needed to say something. I, I felt like I needed to make a video about this. I don't know if I should make it or not. I, um, I don't like making videos and talking about people because I, I, that's just not how I am. But, um, but I saw a video that really bothered me the other day and, um, it's just, you know, being a person that has been pretty much overweight, has been overweight their whole life, um, I know how hard it is to be heavy and I know how hard it is to, to feel fat and to feel ugly and, and to feel like a blob and, and to feel like you're just existing. Like, I know what it feels like and it's horrible. Like, it doesn't feel good. I'm not saying that all people that are overweight feel like that. Maybe there are people that are, you know, happy. Like, you know, when I used to be just chubby or whatever, like, I used to say, like, I'm all right with my weight. Like, I'm okay being chubby. Like, if it wasn't for my blood pressure, like, I would stay chubby. Like, I don't care. I used to say that because it was true. I, w I wasn't very, very overweight at that point when I would say that. I was maybe like 217 pounds or something, which for my body frame, I 217 doesn't look that bad on me. I know it's kind of weird, but it doesn't. I think there's a very, there's a difference between, I don't know. I don't even know what, how to talk about this because it's, you know, it's a sensitive subject and I, I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. And I just don't want to make people feel bad. And But I just have to, you know, like... The other day we were watching YouTube and a video popped up about a YouTuber that does mukbangs, mukbangs. You know what I'm talking about. Where they eat a food show. Where they eat... It's an eating show. And... And it broke my heart. It broke my heart. Because he just looks so miserable. He just looks so miserable, so uncomfortable, so unhappy. And I remember being there. I remember being there and and it just it made me feel really bad. It made me feel really bad for him. And I'm not being dramatic. It just, it broke my heart because, you know, nobody says anything when, when a obese person is eating on, on videos, these crazy amounts of food for views or for money or, you know, nobody says anything about that. And it's such a double standard because then you see a, another person make videos that is extremely thin and everybody's like, oh my gosh, like this person needs to get help. Like they're going to die if they don't get help. And, and it's, it's such a double standard. Now I'm not saying that, um, you know, that the problem with extremely thin or people that have eating disorders that are extremely thin. I'm not saying that's not serious issue. It is. It's a very serious issue as well. But I just feel like it's a double standard. Because you have these obese people basically killing themselves on camera. For views or for money or... And people are, are sitting there supporting that like... I don't know. Like I feel like... I, I don't think that... that oh. I just don't even know how to talk about it. Because I know what it feels like to be so big, to be big that you don't even feel comfortable in, in a t-shirt. You don't feel comfortable in your own skin. When you're eating and everything, everything's happy and everything's hunky-dory because 
because you love food and because your addiction for food is just it just makes you feel good you know because and I'm speaking from my personal experience you know I can't judge everybody I I'm not saying that this is the way everybody is I'm just saying the way I am I remember when I used to have a really bad food addiction and I used to eat a lot and I used to be so unhappy with myself that I would eat because when I was eating that was the only time that I would feel happy but then after I would hate myself and I would say I can't believe that I that I ate that you know I can't believe I did that I'm such a pig and I, I would say stuff of hatred to myself and that would just make it worse because I already didn't like myself and then it just makes me so sad oh, I don't want to cry I don't want to be one of those videos that's all crying but like it just makes me so sad, you know, how how people are, are sitting by and and watching them kill themselves on camera for money or for views or for whatever. At the end of the day, no amount of money, no amount of views is going to be worth your your health, your life. It's like they need to wake up, you know. And I was like, I wish there could be somebody that helped him, you know, like one of the influencers that's like fitness influencers or something that somebody, you know, they could help this person because I really felt so bad for him. And, but the thing is that they're not ready for help. It's just like a drug addiction, you know, and it's an addiction and, and it might not be looked at the same way as a drug addiction. But it, it's the same thing. It's pretty much the same thing. The only difference is with you don't need drugs to live, but you need food to live. And that's the tricky part. I just, I don't know. I just have to say where I stood on this because I don't see anything wrong with, don't get me wrong. I don't see anything wrong with eating on camera. Like, I'm not trying to shame people for eating on camera. Like, that's fine. But I just, I just find it really disturbing when it's an Im excessive amount of food and, and the person is already obviously very big and I don't know, I don't know, I just, I didn't, like I said, I didn't want to make this video because I just don't want to be like, like I said, making people feel bad. But it just, it just broke me when I saw it. And I, um, I just think that they should get help. That they should try to lose weight, get healthy. Because like I said, at the end of the day, that's all that matters. Your health, because if we haven't learned anything in 2020 is that without your health you don't have anything you don't have anything so it's very important to take care of ourselves you know because we only have one body and it can only take so much and I'm just gonna stop it here because I don't want to get more emotional and I don't want this to be a video of me crying the whole time it's just that it hits home, you know, it hits home because I know what it feels like. I know what it feels like. And. And it sucks. And even now, you know, I'm, I'm still losing weight and I never give up. Even though I'm losing it slow. I don't give up because. And it's not because of vanity reasons, because I want to be skinny or because I want to have a perfect body. But it's because of my health. And it just breaks my heart to see them. 
killing themselves on camera. But anyway, guys, I, I just thought I would... I, I just thought I would make this video because... I felt like I needed to. Thank you for watching. Bye.